Welcome. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to do your clear glazing for a ceramics class. If you've made a sculpture like this one and you've used the underglaze in ceramics class, you're just going to do a clear coat onto your uh, work. So like this one has been uh, glazed already. You can see that it's shiny, it's smooth and glossy, whereas this one still has a matte finish. Okay, in the next video, I'll show you how to do your pottery glazes and we'll talk a little bit more about pottery glazes. But the first thing you need to know and remember is you can only glaze once your artwork has been bisqued. This is bisque fired. It's a little pinkish, it's hard, and it's changed. It's metamorphic rock now. This one, which has not been bisqued and is still greenware, it should not be glazed. It has to go through the first firing and then it can be glazed. Okay, so you've already done your underglazing and painted your artwork however you wanted to and now it's time to clear glaze okay first things first you'll need to grab some glaze tongs up here on the shelf there's a bucket that says glaze tongs you'll get, select a pair of glaze tongs and these should be cleaned and washed off and put back into the glaze tong bucket when you're done okay then down here underneath the sink we have a bunch of five gallon buckets. These five gallon buckets have different kinds of glazes in them and they're labeled on the top of the bucket. This one says luster green. That'll give you a different color. We'll talk about that one later. This one here says clear. This is the one that we're gonna use today. Take the bucket lid, leave it on the side and inside of here is the glaze. What you need to do is select one of the stirring sticks from the bucket underneath and then stir up your clear glaze. Whatever glaze you're using, there might be a little goo on the bottom, like leftover glaze that hasn't been stirred up. So make sure to like scrape the bottom, stir it up really well so that your glaze is, actually gets on your pot. If you don't do this and you just put water on it, then it, it's not gonna turn out shiny and nice. Okay. Once you're done stirring it, if there is a little bit of goo left on the end of your stick, swipe it on the side of the bucket and then get it back into the bucket. Then before you move on to your glazing, come back to the sink, which is conveniently located right here, and use a sponge to clean your stir stick off. It's really important that these stir sticks get cleaned every single time because you don't want to take a, one of the colors and stick it into the clear glaze and contaminate the clear glaze or vice versa take a colored stick and dip it into another color and contaminate those colors. The glazes are very expensive and we don't want to waste them okay by contaminating them. So you're going to take your piece to be glazed and if you need to grab the tongs and go around the outside of it you can do that and then dip it in uh, if you've got a hole in it and you can you know get it some other way kind of like that that works too whatever way you need to hold on to it to dip it in the glaze then for clear glaze we're just going to do one coat and we're going to dip it for a count of three we're going to submerge it all the way up to that hole and we're going to go one two three and then we're gonna pull it back out, okay? Now, we've pulled this out and you've got the little, you've got the, the tongs. I'm gonna get out of there. And if you turn it upside down now, you can see how that clear glaze is kind of covered over the colors that were previously painted on there. Now, on the bottom, I've got some clear glaze here on the bottom. Before you put this in the kiln room, you need to take a sponge and wipe the bottom off, okay? You have to wipe every little bit of clear glaze or other glaze off the bottom. If there's glaze on the bottom, I won't put it in the kiln shelf and I'll put it back onto the shelf in the classroom and you'll have to go find it again and clear glaze it, okay? Once you've finished dipping for a count of three and you've wiped the bottom clean, then take your glazing tongs, put the lid back on the bucket, slide it underneath the, the counter, take your glazed tongs, clean them off in the sink so that they don't contaminate the next person. Put your glazed tongs back in the glazed tong bucket. Take your artwork 
and bring your artwork into the kiln room. Remember, on the right-hand side of the kiln room, that's where the bisque fire goes. And over here, on the left-hand side of the kiln room, is where glaze ware goes, ready to be fired. Put your work on that shelf. I'll take it and put it into the glaze fire, and it'll be ready to be glaze fired. Okay, once you're done with that, you're done glazing your ceramic work for our class, for clear glaze. In the next video, we'll come back and I will talk to you about uh, glazing for a piece of pottery.